When the many layers of modern paint had been removed, to be accurate to Wright's original paint, an entirely different finish was needed. A beautiful and long-lasting finish that dates back to the ancient Greeks, called encaustico. With encaustic paint, pigment is blended into hot, melted beeswax, and the hot wax is brushed onto the surface. The wax carrier cools and creates a deep, translucent color that is extraordinarily beautiful. Chips of the original wax-based encaustic paint underwent spectral analysis at Wittenberg University to allow a precise replication and revealed a surprisingly practical side to Wright's choice of finishes. I was surprised that the chemical breakdown did not indicate beeswax was used because traditionally in encaustic painting it is unmodified, un unpurified beeswax because that's what they had available. But um, they used most likely a canning wax, which was interesting. Be but then again, if you think about it, a hundred years ago, they were canning. Canning wax was readily available and easy to work with, and it's got a, a decent melting point, so you know you don't have to get it too hot. You don't have to, you know, it was easier to probably work with. The paraffin-based encaustic paint is to be applied in layers, blending the new plaster work with the original walls. The artisans would work for over seven months to restore the rich colors that the Westcott saw as they moved from room to room.